What's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you are a new subscriber, hello, hello. If you're a returning subscriber, you already know that we are locked in forever. So as you can tell about that title, um, this is going to be definitely out of my content theme that I'm going for my YouTube channel. But when I started the YouTube journey, it was definitely hard for me to decide on the type of equipment that I wanted to use. Um, I redid so many research with uh, videos, um, TikTok videos, just to see what camera was the best camera. And getting on YouTube, I didn't see too many videos. So I feel like I wanna help you and I wanna show you guys what I learned and what I picked up along the way. This is going to be a video comparing the Sony ZV-1 versus the Canon Mark II. So um, I'm gonna show you the things that come in the box. I'm gonna show you the different quality effects on the camera. I'll show you, right now I am filming on the Sony right now. Love the Sony. I'm also gonna show you the difference between the mics because each, both cameras do, um, they sound different. They're both good cameras. Don't get don't get it wrong. They're both great cameras. But if you want to go ahead and um, not waste money, you know, you know, a lot of people like me, I bought the the Mark II three years ago, and then I turned around and got the Sony when I could have just bought the Sony from the jump. But anyways, um, and then I want to show you guys what I use as far as editing. And the couple of um, pros and cons I've learned along the way with both cameras. So if you are interested in this video and you want to know about these cameras, stay tuned and let's get it right into it. I would like to get to know I did write down things in my notebook so I can make sure I touch everything without um, forgetting because I'm pregnant and my memory, my memory be all over the place y'all. So just work with me and I will get up here, just be talking and be hopping from one topic to the next topic to the next topic. So let's begin. Um, this is the Canon right here. We have the Canon. This is the Canon. I do have a case. I got the case from Amazon. I can put the link below if you're interested in the case. It comes in tons and tons of colors. Um, I'll take it off the tripod for you guys. It's very easy, simple, self-explanatory. You have your buttons, your power on, your functions up here at the top, and then it kind of switches up. You can pop that open. This is for picture purposes, for that flash. Never really used that. Never really took pictures with this camera. This was strictly for vlogging. Um, this and the Sony is uh, their vlog cameras. And this Canon right now is going for 629. And this is on um, Best Buy. You can get this um, from Amazon. I ordered mine from Best Buy. I bought this three years ago, this is not a 4K camera. This is not a 4K camera at all. So I don't even think 4K was even out three years ago. Um, but um, if you're starting off, you're not trying to spend too much money, this would be a really, really good camera. Um, since I bought this three years ago, I don't have the box for the Canon, but the things that come inside the Canon box would be your battery charger, a battery, the Canon camera, and a SIM. You have your Sony. Your Sony is going for $749. So a couple hundred dollars and change more than your Canon, but this is a 4K camera. But this is the box for your Sony, for your Sony. And the things that come in the Sony is you have your Sony camera, the camera, obviously, the USB. So what I did learn with the Sony is it doesn't come with a battery. 
I mean, a battery charging pack that you charge it through whatever you want to, your USB. Um, so what I did do is I ordered this off Amazon, um, a set of batteries and it actually came with the charging base with the USB because I mean, I would typically, if I did use this, I would use this to charge through my computer, but sometimes I need to charge my computer. So I don't need all these, these cores coming from my computer. So I did order this, um, off Amazon. Um, I don't even, I think it was like a couple of bucks, maybe 20 bucks, which is really, really good. It came with three batteries and, um, the, the charger, the charger base. Um, and then the Sony also comes with the furry, um, mic windscreen. And I will also show you what that is as well. Got the mic wind protector functions right here. The on and off is right there. Battery, USB, your back of your camera, and then your screen flips like that. As in for your Canon, oops, turn it on, turn this off. Your screen flips like that. And I also ordered, you don't have to get this. They're gonna push you to get this, but you don't have to get this, but it's pretty cool. I did get purchased, this was a $100, and this is separate from your purchase for your Sony. But I purchased the um, Blogger kit, and it's a tripod. And you could literally use any tripod. You don't have to use this tripod. This is like Bluetooth Connect. It kind of stands up like this. Um, batteries, you have to put batteries in it for it to work, but this is pretty convenient when, oh, sorry y'all, something is itching. This is pretty convenient when you're vlogging and you, you know, typically your functions are behind your camera, but you can kind of hit your functions up here at the top um, of the tripod, which is pretty cool. Zoom in, zoom out, but this isn't necessary. This isn't a must to have to get your videos to come out perfect. You could literally use a regular tripod and I got this off Amazon. I actually got this for pictures because I don't have anyone here to take my selfies and it literally goes all the way up and th this part it comes with a remote the remote is somewhere just so you can kind of click 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 but it literally goes all the way out and you can sit it on something and take selfies and it comes with a phone screw the phone piece on and yes but you can take the phone off and just use this part and put your camera on there next is Okay, let's talk about the Canon. Um, I'm gonna turn it on for you guys. Okay, and then here is your Canon. You see what I'm saying? And I think all, all of my adjustments for this Canon is set. My settings are set and ready to go. But I feel like when you're in an all white room, like this room has like just white everywhere, it doesn't enhance the background even though you want the background to be blurred out it's still not it's just not giving for me as like i mean the sony i mean it's just it's just it, i look very pale i look i i don't know like i just feel like i just want more when i'm shooting my videos so this camera did do what it needed to do for the time i do switch between cameras depending on if i'm vlogging and i'm trying to get those angles i do switch but i feel like this just it's just not doing it for me and that's why i got the sony can't this camera there is absolutely nothing wrong with this camera this camera is great this camera the only issue with this camera is your focus. If 
you are doing makeup videos, if you are doing um, lashes, nails, anything where you have to zoom in to focus, this camera is going to be a hard way to focus. It doesn't adjust. Like I could literally come up here and you see how that focus. With a Canon, it ain't gonna do that. You would have to adjust, you know, move around, try to get the camera. It can get a little frustrating after a while. And that's what it did for me. And then also with this not being a 4K camera, I always seen the quality in my videos when it was time to edit. Um, I, I wanted to always make sure that I bring good quality. And um, that is what this camera it's good quality, but it's not 4K quality. It's probably, I think it's like 1080. And don't get it twisted. Ten, nothing is wrong with 1080 quality. 1080 quality is good, but I feel like I just wanted more quality. But if you're just starting out, this camera is the best. This camera would be good for you. Again, the screen goes up with the Sony. It goes to the side. So as you can see right now, I am recording on my phone just because the can the Canon battery is charging. Um, you got your Sony. This is going to be your Sony. You got the furry mic, wind protector, and then the screen goes to the side and not the front. And very lightweight still. Um, and um, that's pretty much it um, with the look wise. So your Sony is definitely 4K. Um, you're gonna get that quality all the time. You're gonna get that focus effect all the time. Um, I do record my Sony in movie mode. I haven't played with any of the other functions, but I do record my Sony in movie mode, which I love, 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 love. Before I jump into the mic, I use the 128 gigabyte SIM card just because you're recording in 4K and 4K is gonna take so, 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 so much than uh, 1080. So I would suggest go big, even with, this, even with the Canon. Like I probably wouldn't go less than Probably 64. Honestly, I probably would still do one 128 just because I know like definitely if you know you're going to be just doing videos like videos already take so much. So I would suggest like 120 and you can get these from Amazon, you can get these from Best Buy, Walmart, you can get these anywhere actually. Um, but as the mic, I did hear a difference between the mic and honestly, I think the Canon mic is better you can adjust it's probably because i need to adjust the sound the mic sound with the sony but there is a mic different not too much they're both still really good but this one is a way louder um mic um but i think i need to adjust the mic in the sony testing testing one two testing testing one two Testing, testing, one, two. Testing, testing, one, two. With the Canon, I have an updated MacBook. And this is something that I learned because what I would usually do is I would use my videos and just send them to my phone. So, because Canon has an app and you can kind of just, it's kind of like an airdrop, but it's like Bluetooth. So it just Bluetooths over. But if your videos are super long, it's going to take forever to send over. But with this being an older camera, and I actually went to Best Buy and I learned this. With this being an older camera and with me having a newer Mac, I could not figure out how to send my videos over to my macbook um and you can see right here it has little adapting like pieces where you could put your uh, usb and i would do that i googled i uh, youtube how to transfer over my videos to my 
computer and it was it wasn't working i downloaded so much software it still would not work i could not understand what was going on and they, what they told me was the you can't you, you can't just send over an older you can't use an older canon and then a newer mac it's just the devices are just not going to equal up so what i did was um i bought this piece and this is going to just be your sim card insert and i'm sure with the sony i could send my videos over but honestly get this just get this this just saves time you don't have to worry about downloading no software you put the sim card in put this piece in your macbook and it'll just open up a lot i know a lot of people like to use the usb cord connected to your macbook or download all this software listen get this i'm telling you this is gonna be a lifesaver how i edit my video so there are three popular editing apps you got iMovie you got um uh cap cut and then you got final cut pro iMovie is free cap cut is free to a certain extent, I only use CapCut when I kind of created my intro and outro. And then Final Cut Pro. And Final Cut, Cut Pro is going to be your big baller, um, $300. Um, it's a software. It's a one-time pay. You don't have to pay it every month. You pay one time, and that's just that. I started out with using iMovie. If you are a type of person that vlog on your camera, that is totally, I mean, on your phone, that is totally fine. If you have the latest iPhone, that is 4K. If you hit video on your iPhone, right now, if you have the latest camera, uh, uh, phone, it'll say at the top, if you go to video, 4K. So you are recording in 4K. I will say using iMovie on your computer, you just get a little bit more, more effects. You get a little bit more fun things that you can do to it. Other than that, you can get the same thing on your phone. And phone is very tedious because you're just working on a smaller screen. But you can get the same stuff that you need on your um, phone, your computer, and all of that. So um, after using iMovie for a couple of years, uh, I kind of wanted to step it up a notch because... And when I say a couple of years, as you can tell that my YouTube channel is new. I've always I had it for like three to four years now, but I'm just wasn't like consistent on it. But um, when I first first started my YouTube channel, I was using iMovie. But now that I'm back on YouTube and I'm trying to be consistent on YouTube, I have been using Final Cut Pro. And let me tell you guys now, it's not for the week. It's just not for the week. I've learned so much. Every time I probably would edit four videos, I have four videos posted on my page. Every video I have learned something when it's time to export my videos. Um, it can be stressful. Like sometimes I'm just like, you know what, whatever. I just want to go back to my regular iMovie because this is just way too much for me. But I'm like, I paid the money. I'm going to figure it out. Um, it is convenient when it comes to like, you don't have to save like Final Cut Pro. You could literally close out the whole thing, shut the whole computer down without saving in Final Cut Pro every minute, every second. It is saving your project. So that's a plus for me because it's been so many times when my computer just died. And I'm like, oh no, like with iMovie, you got to save it. Like, or your work, all your work is totally gone. It's just more advanced and you got to take the time to to play around with it. Um, but like I said, it's a one-time pay. But if you're just starting out, listen, if you're just starting out, work with iMovie. Don't, don't, let me tell you something. Like, I can't share it just stresses enough. And I'm not even a YouTuber. You know, when I say a YouTuber, I'm talking about someone with like 100,000 followers, someone with 50 followers and 1,000 subscribers. I'm, I have 74 subscribers right now. And I'm just saying it can be a lot. You can get discouraged. You can get on YouTube and post a video and get discouraged when you feel like you only have this many views because you thought this video was going to do this much. And then you see all these upcoming YouTubers and they're, they, they're using these high quality cameras and all of these effects and they're doing this and they're doing that. And 
it can be a lot and I've learned and I'm still learning to not compare myself to others. Like this video is definitely out of my content, my content theme, you know, like my theme is beauty vlogs and just um, lifestyle. And here I am doing a video about different, the Sony and the Canon cameras, but I feel like it was so hard for me to to, 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 to find a video like this that really got into depth about these cameras. Starting out, figure, figure out what camera works for you. I feel like with the Sony too as well, I don't really have to do too much of a light. Like I can literally shut off. I mean, I have my vanity light on right now, but it adjusts itself so well. Like look at that focus. Like it's just like, it, it it focuses so well with the with the Canon. I just feel like you just gotta do a little bit more love. And if you're doing more sit down videos like this, cool. Your Canon would be great. You put your lights so you won't have to do too many movements. But if you're like actually vlogging and moving around and your contrast and your colors and the light in and stuff is changing, I would suggest the uh, Sony spend that extra money to get what you what what you need so you won't have to spend it again I'm trying to think what else i'm missing i think that's it as far as like the equipment so i just went over the camera the weight of the camera the mic of the camera the 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 different effects oh someone it, the sony it does have filter effects md filter effects or something so what that is it just softens your skin um it can go high and low i think it has like three to four different levels this is no filter, no MD filter. This is nothing. So I couldn't even imagine what it would look like with a, a filter on. It, it, honestly, when I think of it and when I seen it, it gave me, you know when you upload a picture on Instagram and you do swiping on your story and that gives you that soft look? That's exactly what it was given. But it keeps, it, it enhances even more like different levels. You're not gonna get that on your Canon at all. Like I said, guys, I'm starting my YouTube journey. Um, this is new for me, you know, just to, to sit here and open up and talk. And I feel like a lot of people, I don't even know what it's called um, when they don't want to give the tips or it's like top secret. Like, that's not me. Because when you help others, good things always come back to you. You know what I'm saying? It's just like we can all win we can all be on youtube it takes nothing to hit the subscribe button it takes nothing to help someone if they have a question in the comments there's been so many times where i'm commenting on people's videos and i get no response and it's just like but you want me to subscribe you want me to to comment and hit the notification bell and do all of this so like i'm new and i'm sure a lot of you are watching this video if you are watching this video you're new because you you want to be educated, you want to know what what's what. Don't spend too much money if you don't have to. Honestly, guys, that is pretty much everything. I think I ran down everything for the camera. Like I said, both of these cameras are amazing if you're just starting out. Um, you can get extra lenses for these cameras, um, extra mics for these cameras. The Canon, you can't. You would have to, with that Sony, you can just, it's Bluetooth. You can get a, just a Bluetooth, you can get a mic and just Bluetooth connected. With your Canon, with it being a little bit older, you would have to get a mic and then a USB and then plug it up. It would just be so many cords. It's still okay, but this isn't a, you won't be able to Bluetooth connect a mic to this camera at all. Like it just doesn't work like that. Um, and I hope this video helped someone. And if you have any other questions about these cameras, please feel free to put them in the comments or, you know, any questions about the editing of your videos, CapCut, Final Cut Pro, um, put it in the comments. Um, I'm still learning, but I know enough and I've, and I've learned a lot down the road, I'm telling you guys, and it's a lot, you know, um, but, we in this together, okay? And ring lights, very important. Amazon, any type of ring light, tripod. I have this tripod right here that I'm using. I'll show you guys. Um, this is how I have the Sony set up. And this is the tripod. It actually goes all the way down. 
and it can stand up super, 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 super. It can probably go up to this, like this high. Um, Best Buy, this is the brand of, you see how it won't focus? This is, this is the perfect example I'm talking about. You have to like, see, adjust and to get it to focus, but. Um, thank you for watching this video. I hope this video helped someone in a way. Um, if you were stuck between buying the Canon G7 Mark II um, versus the Sony ZV-1, I hope at this point you know exactly what camera you want to do. I hope your YouTube journey is very, very successful. And um, again, um, I want to thank everyone for the likes and the views that I have been getting on my previous videos. Thank you so much. I definitely appreciate it. Um, I'm trying to push this content out. Um, it is a lot of work, but you know, when you set your mind to something, you can definitely do it and, um, stay tuned for the next video. Make sure you thumbs this video up, comment if you have any questions at all. And, um, Till next time. So I will see y'all see you guys in my next video. Peace.